Hello, myself, Dr. Girish K. from Postgraduate Department of Microbiology, Maharani Science College for Women, Mysore, Karnataka. Herewith I am presenting my research work titled Isolation, Characterization and Screening of Neem Rhizosphere Bacteria against Fomopsis azadiracte causing dieback of Neem. Fomopsis azadiracte is a deuteromycetes fungus causing dieback of Neem. The characteristic symptoms of this disease are twig blight, inflorescence blight and fruit rot. Dieback is presently a devastating disease of neem in India, reducing the lifespan and seed production of neem. The disease is spreading at an alarming rate in all neem growing regions of India and was observed in all regions of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Therefore, effective management of this pathogen is of prime importance. In the present study, antagonistic bacteria isolated from rhizosphere of neem trees were screened for their antifungal activity. Materials and Methods Fomopsis azadiracte was isolated from the dieback diseased neem twigs following standard procedures as mentioned in Satish et al. 1997. The fungal isolate was maintained in pure cultures on photatodextrose agar plates and were used to screen the antifungal activity of neem rhizosphere bacteria. Soil sample was collected from the rhizosphere of neem tree. The bacterial strains were isolated by following standard procedure mentioned in Girish and Bhavya 2018 and maintained as pure culture on nutrient agar slants. Screening of rhizosphere bacteria against the isolated fungi was done by dual culture method as mentioned in Girish and Bhavya 2018. Isolated bacterium was characterized by 16S RDNA analysis that is sequencing, NCBI blast search, phylogenetic analysis. Following standard procedures as mentioned in Oliva Stasiak et al. 2010, Shobarani and Halami 2014. Results the fungus Homopsis azadiracte was isolated from all the diseased neem twig samples collected. All the isolates were confirmed as Homopsis azadiracte by observing the mycelial nature and mycelial pigmentation, conidiogenesis, shape and size of conidia. Homopsis azadiracte produces two types of conidia that is alpha and beta conidia. In the figure the left, you can see the growth of Fomopsis azadiracte from dieback infected neem twigs. The right, it is the pure culture of Fomopsis azadiracte on potato dextrose agar after 10 days of incubation. Isolation of rhizosphere bacteria. Bacterial colonies developed on nutrient agar plates inoculated with rhizosphere soil. Four bacteria were randomly picked based on their morphological characteristic and were subcultured on the nutrient agar slants by striking. The isolates were named as NRB1, NRB2, NRB3 and NRB4 respectively. Here NRB means neem rhizosphere bacteria. All the bacteria screened such as NRB1, NRB2, NRB3 and NRB4 exhibited significant antifungal activity against Fomopsis azadiracte showing the zone of inhibition or reduced mycelial growth in comparison to control after 10 days of incubation in dual culture method that was followed. However, NRB2 exhibited comparatively better antifungal activity and was selected for further studies. NRB2 was subjected for molecular characterization and the experiment result showed that the 16S RDNA sequence of uh, bacteria NRB2 had homology with Bacillus cereus and was named as Bacillus cereus NRB2. In this picture, uh, you can see the phylogenetic analysis data of NRB2 bacteria and homology was found with Bacillus cereus. 
conclusions bacillus cereus nrb2 effectively suppress the growth of formopsis as a directive the present study provides a basis for the development of effective and eco-friendly biocontrol management strategy against dieback of knee however further studies such as preparation of bioformulations greenhouse and field studies are required it will be advantageous if this method can be developed as biopesticides and also as an integrated disease management strategy uh, these are the references that were uh, uh, referred to conduct this particular study thank you